Yo my ninjins, what is up, what is good, it's your boy Seb the Savage and we are back at it again with a new video. Look at you, trying so hard. We're still doing uh, the Adachi, we're still doing Adachi, still going over him, his assists and all that other good stuff. Today we are going to be going over how to play him. So I'm going to be going over a few things. I'm going to be going over his assist. I'm going to be going over to his assist. His air to air movements, well, his air to air buttons. How to play Nooch with him. And some other things. So without further ado, uh, let's get into the video. Okay, for starters, his neutral. His neutral is real, real simple. Real simple, real easy. Backdash, Zeodyne. Backdash, Zeodyne. Backdash, Zeodyne. Backdash, Zeodyne. To specify, Azeodyne. Azeodyne is fast, and it snipes the opponent if they try to press a button full screen, unless it's in full, or if they try to call an assist. So, you're doing the air, you're doing laying on the ground. This is this is a neutral button. This is what you do to win neutral when you play Adachi. You get as far away from your opponent as possible. Just laser. Now, if you have an assist to cover you, like Ruby, BZO, and do all sorts of crazy jank shit. But if you have an assist to lock your opponent down and make sure they don't move, you can throw BZO in the mix. So like, uh, uh, BZO. And they gotta hold that. They gotta hold that. They gotta block you. Just run in for a mix up. Could swat the ankles. Or him in a noggin. Endless possibilities. Okay, so next up is his air to air. So, this is his air. This is the button you want to use, his JA. In every air to air situation because it's light, it's fast, and has. It has normal range, but it's a good button. Next up is JB. This is not as good for air to airs. It's more so for cross ups and save jumps. Because that good ass range, that good ass hitbox. Yeah, so that's more. JB is more for mix ups. So your JA is your air is your area button because if you try to do JB, the persona is probably going to get broken because the persona is right in front of Adachi. So Adachi and the persona can get hit at the same time, or the persona can just break and you land on the ground with nothing, while your opponent can just jab the shit out of you. So yeah, there's that. Um, what's up? What's next? I guess I can go over a block string. So let me see. Let's have the opponent block. So what you can do is you can go 5A, 2A, 5A, 2A, instant air dash, call an assist, and get a mix that way. Or you can go something like this. Like that. Or you can just do this. That's not gonna work. Don't 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 do that. Uh 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 uh. Or 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 if you know your opponent's always going to keep blocking, you can do this. <laughs> now I know I mentioned before that his command grab is slow and don't use it unless you have a mix. It's okay to do that sometimes. Just know you're at risk of getting blown the fuck up because it's slow and your and his persona can get broken, can get jabbed out, or your opponent can just jump away during the block string. So yeah, if you have an assist that can lock your opponent down, but go then by all means do that. But yeah, that's something you can do. Or as I mentioned before, you can go. Oops. Ah, I keep on missing the other dash. 
Oops. Yeah, you can do something kind of like that. I haven't done that before, so that was my first time, so it, it, that, I was kind of crappy at it. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, another thing. Uh, you would want to use a two, three, six. See, this button a lot. Well, not a lot, a lot, but you would want to use it frequently. So, say if your opponent's in the air and they're going to like press a button, knocks them right off the ground. So say you have your fighting against characters that like to stay in the air a lot, like Markava, or Yosuke, or Teddy. Boom, knocks them right out the air. Yosuke is kind of a special case because his moonsault he flips back and forth, so is so Izanagi might not hit him. So be wary of that. So use this when your opponent's in the air. Or if they're full screen, but I mean you have A, a and B Z L, so why would you? But it's a it's a good thing to use. Oh, another thing. Adam Smasher. When you are very close to your opponent, or you know they're gonna press a button, Adam Smasher. They call an assist. Adam Smasher. They do some weird shit, like they try to throw out a move. Adam Smasher. Adam Smasher is your go-to move for all your solutions. <laughs> for all your problems. Um, one thing that I should have mentioned, his 2 through 6, depending on like the height that you do it, it can be plus. So the farther you are from the ground, the negative, I would, would say the more negative you are, I mean maybe, but yeah, but if you're very close to the ground like this, you're plus. I think you're like maybe plus two, maybe plus two, plus three. It all really depends on how close you are. All right, now to go over his assist. So I went over assist before, but I'm going over and go over them again for for purposes. His 5P anti-air assist has it, it's good. Look at that range. That's some good as range. My bet. That's some good as range. So you can knock opponents out the air if they press a button. 5B, one of the best assists. 5B assists in the game. I would say even better than Gordo's Grim Reaper. It has a lot of block stun. So. You can get a lot of good mix with that. So, instantly get a sandwich. Uh uh. Boom. And you get a decent mix with that. Next up is his 6P, which is his 2 3 6 move. The, the Persona Strike. So no matter where the opponent is, it's going, it's going to hit them. So the same thing that I said, well, the same rules that I kind of gave when using it as a dachi, you can use it when he's an assist. And it has decent lockdown. So like, say if I'm like half, I would only suggest doing it if you're half screen because if you do a full screen, they might not be able to hit him. So boom. Pretty sure Ragnar could probably jab me out, or maybe DP'd. So only do it like when you're like half scream or like close to him. Boom. And there's that. Oh yeah, something I gotta mention. Uh. Depending on, well, not the, really depending on. He can connect his 6P and 4P. Boom. If I do that. Whoa, hold up. I messed it up. Why does he keep on vanishing? Oh, wait. I guess it depends. Yeah. 
So say for instance I do a cross combo. So if you cross combo, you do this, the persona stays right in front of them. See? The persona it doesn't go back to Adachi. It, it'll vanish if you try to do it if you try to cross combo like I did before. So I did this, the persona vanishes. So if I do this, but if I 6p, 6p Adachi. Why won't you 6p? There. There we go. So, see? The persona stays right there. There we go. And that's basically it. That's basically how you would play Adachi. That's kind of basically, that's basically the game plan. That's the game plan for Adachi. You AZO. This is, this is your neutral right here. This is how you play neutral with Adachi. Okay? Nothing fancy. You can call assist every now and then. Lock your opponent down. And you can go for a mix or something. So... That's basically it. Air to air, J A. Use J B for cross ups, or if you're like coming down. Uh, let me see what else. You can do this for his block string because mainly the two A will catch a lot of people off guard because not a lot of people are expecting you to Gatling to go from um five A to two A. And you can instant air dash and boom. Do stuff like that. Anyways, that's it. That has been how to play Adachi. Well, that's not literally everything, but you guys kind of got the idea of like what you should be doing with Adachi. If you want more like knowledge on how to play them, watch tournaments. There are a lot of people playing Adachi. Adachi is one of the best characters in the game. One of the best DLCs that has recently dropped. So yeah, Adachi's gonna be everywhere. Him and Yumi. Stay tuned. We'll have the Yumi stuff later on. Anyways, well, I'll have Yumi stuff in the coming weeks. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll see all you niggas later. I hope you all enjoyed. Shebang, bitches. Push me to the